Okay, I'm just right. I am just removing some of the excess scale as a starter to free up the circulation to some of his toes. So we're just going very gently here and rotating, just taking off bits of the corally, coral-like growth. But after we've killed the the mites with the moxidectin, when it's had time to work and we've got a few layers of new skin coming through without the the mites still breeding in it, um, we'll, we'll find it very much easier to peel to peel off some of this tissue. But um, he's going so close to losing all his toes. I don't know whether we're here in time or not until we. work away some of this stuff. I'm just showing you what we can do and we've decided what we will do also is to give him a his feet maybe a half hour soak in um, very diluted Dettol, about one part of Dettol in 20 parts of water uh, or even more dilute but um, the longer we soak them the, the less Dettol as far as I'm concerned and I'd like half to one hour soak, there's another piece off. But hopefully if all goes well, next time I see him, we'll be taking massive pieces off. These are just little, little nibbles, as I call it, uh, that we're doing at the moment. But anything I can do to free up the, um, to stop the uh, stuff acting as a stricture around his toes the better I have looked for thread and I haven't found any thread constricting his toes some birds do come in with both the 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 mites and the thread as well right, so we're making making some progress around the base of this toe trying to free up the circulation to the to the tip of the toe sorry mate sorry I know it's sore this toe looks very very dicey there's been a lot of bleeding and scabbing down here and all this scabbing needs to be soaked um, because scabs in themselves can act as a stricture when they dry hard just trying to see if there's anything that I can do to just quietly nibble away here. This birdie's not under anaesthesia. That really needs a good soak before I can work at it. If, if after a, a good soak, you can do something similar to what I'm doing, Jan, then I'd encourage you to do so. If you get any signs of bleeding, just stop there, move on to another area. The quicker we get this excess scale off, the idea is not to be greedy. A little at a time. Remember all this dust or dandruff that we're creating has creepy crawlies in it and they're eggs. They're not contagious to us uh, and they're most unlikely to burrow into our skin. However, wash hands and so forth afterwards and do something to clean up and and dispose carefully. I'm making progress under that big hard piece so we'll just go along parallel to the skin and we might loosen up. Steady, 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 calm, 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 calm. Anyway. Lots of people would prefer to wear gloves um, and that's a personal choice. I 
Right, now that's caused a little, you know, that's taken off the almost the deepest layers, but there's still a layer of skin that's bleeding a little bit down in there. However, it is freeing the, I'm trying to free the circulation to the, to the, um, the feet and I'll just do a bit. That'll heal up. Yeah, yeah we'll just control. leave it at that. We, we'll get a when. Wait a minute. That piece, if I can get it off, I'd be. Just trying to drill through into my finger, so I'm coming out the other side there. Oh, Looks pretty gross, doesn't it? Mm. bleeding so um, if you get any bleeding pressure but I think we better be patient stay matey stay matey stay matey because the infection is so chronic the um, the feet are trying to heal trying to fight it and you've got blood vessels going into areas where they would not normally be uh, we'll just have to go slowly. Okay. Stop. Good. Okay. Yeah, matey. Good little fella. Oh, you just releasing him from his trance. Just set the tent to wake up. And he's back to being his feasty self. Aren't you? You don't even say thank you. No. And remember to keep them away from your face and eyes. They can do major damage. They've got an extendable neck, not as extendable as a, uh, a shag or cormorant, but uh, they can still poke your eyes out very easily if you're not careful. Okay, we'll put him away and say enough for one day. Uh-uh, no, I won't. Thank you very much.